हेलो गाइस सो पार्ट थ्री ऑफ दिस इंटरव्यू एंड एक्चुअली हैव हिम डू दिस क्योंकि ही जोक्ड अबाउट इट अलाउ बट इट वाज फन डॉन डिड यू फाइंड एनी पैरेलल्स बिटवीन द टेक्निक ऑफ बॉक्सिंग एंड द द टेक्निक यू ब्रिंग टू राइमिंग I mean I think just the dedication that it would take the dedication it takes that those guys put themselves through you know it's so you know to be an athlete is a whole different thing you know it takes talent but it also takes drive it takes genetics genetics I want to talk a little more about the soundtrack I don't <laughs> Wait, where are we I could answer some so questions. you want me to answer some questions can you track yeah, yeah. So what Jake's got this. Jake's got this. Yeah. yeah. Now, what were you what were you going for when you were putting together the the track list for this? I just um I wanted there to be I wanted to be um with, I wanted Same music to be I wanted, there, I wanted there to be parallels yeah. with um music like lyrics and music. I wanted to put those two things morph them together to get to morph them together. Yeah. in a uh, um a short period of time that people could then relate to relate to yeah thanks yeah anything to add um well, that was pretty that pretty much covers that <laughs> <out>. what <laughs> else you can <laughs> say about that know. yeah this is another thing if you don't mind me adding this you know what i'm saying uh go ahead it's about the soundtrack so i didn't want to step on your toes with you know what i'm saying uh, whatever yeah um, Go Jake ahead, doesn't like that shit. When you're talking about his soundtrack, he doesn't like that. Yeah. yeah. Act. Um. <laughs> right. <laughs> I killed the movie, by the way. <laughs> you are amazing in the movie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Like, I've never seen him like that. He's like transformed. Right. Like, Dick, you can't even see me. You can't even. I've never. It's even, almost like I'm not even honestly, there. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this. And. to write for a performance like that where he looks like have you ever do you know that guy he's this his name is Jake Gillian who I think do you know is that how you pronounce his name Gillinger you look just like that guy thanks man yeah Jake Gillian I'll kind of take that as a compliment no problem <laughs> sort of it's okay uh, yeah you were great Nate Mile too thanks for my 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 best performance probably not it you know the way I would have done it you know what I'm saying but you were really That's good cool. though You were good. But the soundtrack though for 8 Mile. For 8 Mile. <laughs> wait, wait, what? What movie is this? Detroit. Come on. Is it city <laughs> in the Midwest? Go <laughs> on. The soundtrack to South Park. <laughs> right. Let's bring it back to that just for a second. Yeah. Um, the soundtrack to South Park. When you're putting it together, what what kind of uh, what kind of records were you drawing on? What kind of record did you want to make? I had always to say parallels. paralleled uh my life to the story the, the the script of that movie i like songs that remind you of the movie you know like the breakfast club or i am the tiger you know what i'm saying that when you when you hear that song it takes you back to the movie but one of the things that 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 we had kind of loosely told everybody was like it doesn't have to be about the movie just as long as it fits the sentiment and the vibe of the movie you know what i'm saying cuz i feel like it could have been extremely corny if everybody tried to do that you know what i'm saying and and make it just about that but but try the to work theme, the word billy or hope into their song yeah probably might not have been i mean depending on how it was done probably might not have been the best idea in the way to go but um you know i just i, I like songs that remind you take you right back to the movie So it's a it's a music inspired by a soundtrack. Uh did everyone involved who brought original tracks to it get a chance to see the movie then? A lot of people did. A lot of people saw the movie, man. Sever. Right? Yeah, a number of them saw it. I can't tell you <laughs> exactly how many, but definitely a number of them saw it. And mentioned that there was a a push to actually get him in the ring to fight in public. What's the what's the chance we'll see you fight in public? <laughs> I mean, uh it just depends uh i don't know it's i mean i love fighting i mean i don't know it'd be interesting to try it's that it's like a 17% chance yeah, i mean it's about a yeah. 17% chance is good maybe like a 7% chance but yeah 17 is optimistic 17 yeah it keeps people optimistic and hopeful you know what i'm saying <laughs> no pun intended sure i appreciate it f fail 17% right 
Seventeen percent's good. That was good. Seventeen percent chance that I'll probably get in the ring at some point uh, professionally. Fifty Cent is uh, one of your co-stars in the movie. Yes. Uh, plays your manager. Yes. Uh, also has a, a track on the album. Tell me about first meeting Fifty. Uh, he came to the gym when I was training one day. Antoine invited Fifty to the gym and. Uh, I got out of the ring. I remember I'd finished my training session, and we went into the back of this the gym I was training in. And Fifty just started talking. He started talking like my manager. I don't know if he had talked with Antoine about something, but he just started talking about the fight game. He talked about what he wanted to do with me as a fighter, and he was like in the space that we eventually shot the movie in, which was a lot of improvisation, a lot of playing around in the moment of like the reality of whatever was happening. And I just thought, wow, like. And when he's talking to you like he's your your manager, yeah. and he is in fact involved in the fight business, yeah. uh, that, that's one of his many business ventures. Yes. But what what's he saying to you? Oh man, he's talking to me like a lot of things you hear in the movie. Things like he's like, oh Billy, he's calling me by my character's name already. He's like, oh Billy, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna you know we're gonna get this. I already have this thing. He's like, I already have a deal lined up with HBO. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna get a deal lined up with HBO. And I'm gonna make a three fight deal. Like boom, you know he starts talking to me like that. So he starts improving with you. Oh yeah. On yeah. your first on your first meeting for South Park. Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. He also improv with the you on first meeting. Right, the parallels between, there's there's something to be said the there about the parallels that morph together. He's not just your friend, man. The you other side of the coin. The other side of the coin, right. Um, <laughs> there's three sides to every coin. <laughs> I was unaware of The hell is... There's the one side, tails, heads, and then Detroit. I'm tripping out on you right now, man. Yeah, man. I'm tripping yeah, 70% chance that I might just get, I might fight right now. 17% chance. I don't know. 70 or 17? Maybe Paul, but I don't know. Right, somebody. Yeah, somebody. Jake's fighting somebody here. Somebody. It's a 17% chance. So I'm not going to get up out of my chair, but I'm thinking about it. It could be 17% out of 117%. <laughs> we don't know. I, I would say about this movie, there is something interesting about the movie and the soundtrack and how people respond to it. It's like, I've never felt like a, a film has brought all these people together in a way that like uh, you know I, and that's that's a that's a testament I think a testament to the fact that the movie is is whether it's indirectly based a lot on him and who he is who he is as a person and a father whether what Antoine believes is being a father and being a parent and what you give to your family and how you're devoted to them how I believe in my family like you know that to me is what the movie's about ultimately is about family and also about how hard you will fight for that and I've never been in a film where it's brought different all these different people together in the way this movie has that's why I was saying I feel like there's so many people that would be able to relate to this film just because of what, what it's about and the struggle and how hard you would fight to get your family back and you know like just the, the, the entire theme of the movie so you don't, don't box. You don't box from the South Park stance. From the South Park stance, no. That's neither do I, and neither does Billy Hope. South Park, I think, is more of a metaphor for the, the the things you have to do to switch up when life, you know, hits you with blows, you know, that you didn't expect. And I think that's that's really what the title is about, um, and that's what it means to me. And I know that's what the movie is about. So. Well, on that note, we're going to leave it there. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, man. Cool. Thank. Okay, guys. That's the interview of Eminem and Chick uh, Chilli and all. Acha interview tha. Thoda sa beach me. Thoda sa dull ho raha tha. Thoda sa bore ho raha tha. So isme inhone obviously movie ke baare me bola hai. Hard work ke baare me. Kuch funny things wo log set pe jo karte the uske baare me. Fifty cent bhi hai isme is movie me major part hai unka bhi as a manager of Billy Hopes Chick Chilli and all ka jo boxing. जो कर रहा है उसका मैनेजर के तौर पे हुआ है फिर उसके बाद में एम एन एम के गाने हैं वो सभी लोग इस मूवी को अपने लाइफ से किस तरह से कोरिलेट कर सकते हैं इट्स ऑल अबाउट फाइट बैक फाइटिंग बैक फ्रॉम योर सिचुएशन इससे है रिलेटेड ये बॉक्सिंग मूवी है लेकिन इससे भी रिलेट करती है कि लाइफ में अगर आपको कुछ प्रॉब्लम है कुछ इश्यू है तो आपसे आप उससे कैसे फाइट बैक कर सकते हो करना चाहिए फिर उसके बाद में फैमिली से रिलेटेड है फैमिली का मीनिंग क्या है क्या होती है एक फैमिली स्ट्रेंथ उसके बाद में एक इंस्पिरेशन ये सभी चीज़ें हैं इस मूवी में अबाउट फैमिली अबाउट बॉक्सिंग एक इमोशनल शेड है आ, बहुत सारी चीज़ें इस मूवी में सो दैट्स द रीज़न ये मेरी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फेवरेट 
क्लासिक बॉक्सिंग मूवी है एंड या जेक जिलेनोर का हार्ड वर्क एम ए एम एन एम का हार्ड वर्क उसके बारे में भी आगे बात करेंगे सॉन्ग्स देखेंगे इसके और जो कुछ बाकी के थोड़े वीडियोज़ हैं उनको भी देखेंगे दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज प्लीज़ प्लीज़ कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स अगर आपने ये मूवी देखी है तो आपको क्या उसमें से पसंद आया कौन सा फेवरेट पार्ट था वो सब कुछ कमेंट बॉक्स में प्लीज़ बताइए आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर कमेंट्स एंड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस मूवी दिस जर्नी लेट्स वॉच नेक्स्ट वीडियोज ओके स्टेट यूंड